And meanwhile, help is on the way for some hospital workers. Yeah, more than 80 Wisconsin National Guard members are in medical training right now to help any way possible at our local hospitals. CBS 58's Emily Fannin has more on how they are stepping up during this crucial time. Welcome to class. It's back to school for these Wisconsin National Guard right. members who received hours of medical training at Madison College to tackle the ongoing pandemic. The Guard teamed up with Madison College School of Nursing program to provide a crash course on how to become a certified nursing assistant. So I'm just going to get you even a little bit higher for me. Andrew Moen, who's served in the Guard for 10 years and has family involved in the medical field, says he jumped at this unique opportunity. It's awesome because, I mean, you know, if, if anyone else wanted to go help, they'd have to go to school and a year or two or whatever it is and this is hey guys we're gonna go and get the best training we can one of the hands-on training wisconsin national guard members are getting is alleviating pressure on residents and patients and overall just making them feel comfortable more than 80 guard members got hands-on experience to help hospitals and long-term care facilities discharge patients that no longer need care and can go home their goal is to free up bed space as facilities are facing staffing shortages and a surge of covid 19 infections we recognized that this was going to be a huge industry gap and that our our health care um, providers across Wisconsin were going to need our help. This is one of several missions Guard members are taking on during the pandemic, like helping testing and vaccination sites. But Moen says this experience is more meaningful. With testing, it's just, you know, you're testing people, but these are like you're actually taking care of people and making an impact on someone's life. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News. And by the end of the month, Madison College is also expected to train an additional 80 Guard members to eventually have about 200 deployed across the state.